Well, age is just a number, and a group of senior hockey players in the South Metro is proving that old adage to be true. In tonight's return of Maury Stories, Maury Glover shows us how even though they are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, these athletes are showing no signs of slowing down. It's good exercise, good camaraderie, good friends. Sometimes in the state of hockey. I think everybody's kind of like me. They really look forward to it. Playing the sport. Great, great. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a high. Is more of a state of mind. Now it's just fun. They play for the fun of it, which I think is just really, really great. Twice a week, this group of friends slap on their skates for some pickup hockey at the Bloomington Ice Garden. Score, Jimmy, score! On this day, it's light jerseys versus darks. Tom, you can't buy one today. Smile, Tom. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. Act like you're having fun, Tom. But under their helmets, there's a lot of gray, which proves getting old isn't quite so black or white. It's in your blood, so you just want to keep playing as long as you can. At 84, Jim Westby is the oldest player in the group that started as a spinoff of an adult hockey team nearly 20 years ago. In 1955, he scored one of the most famous goals in state high school hockey tournament history, a game winner in the 11th overtime of the quarterfinals between Minneapolis South and Thief River Falls. Now, more than six decades later, he is still playing the game he has loved for most of his life. Everybody feels the same way about keeping in shape and keeping active, and I think the big thing is it's a great group of guys who love to be together, who can talk and then uh, uh, share stories. We're like Mike players. No one remembers the score about 10 minutes after the game's over. So you're just out here, you know, having fun, getting a workout. On the flip side, Gordy Roberts is 64 and one of the youngest on the ice. He played for the North Stars and Pittsburgh Penguins where he won two Stanley Cups. I think that hockey can definitely be a life sport. And, uh, you know, the whole point is, you know, who wants to act like you're 83 years old? But he says hockey isn't just for the young, it can also be for the young at heart. I used to be a little competitive on the ice at times, and so I've learned to dial it down, I guess. So <laughs> just, you know, having fun and uh, moving the puck and, you know, trying to set guys up a little bit and all that. So, uh, you know, I play more to their level, which is... I think, uh, you know, they appreciate it and so do I. Even though the group includes former college, national team, and professional hockey players, as well as Olympians, there's no checking because of their advanced age. And the action is a little slower than it was in their younger years. We're all a bunch of kids playing this game. And we're doing it at age 60, 70, 80 years old. Isn't that incredible? Jerry Melnicek is 83 and used to play for the Golden Gophers. He's been Chucker since 1956. <laughs> That's like before they put men in space. But he says getting older is no reason for him to spend his golden years in the penalty box. Nobody celebrates getting old. So if we're going to get old, we might as well do things we love. No one wins a face-off against Father Time forever. We have players with two new knees. We have players who have two shoulders replacements. We have guys with double bypasses, have stints. We have guys who have got all kinds of things that have happened to them, and they're still playing today out of this group. But these hockey players will try to keep him on ice for as long as they can. One day when I'm uh, 80 and uh, there's some young guys uh, out here in their 60s that maybe played pro hockey as long as I did for 20 years, and. He's setting me up and everything else, you know, I'm going to make sure I get him a cold beer afterwards. <laughs> For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9. We should celebrate getting older. I know. Well, they've inspired us now. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought you could still play on the ice? And, and I'm also great. thinking that the game is one thing, but the story time probably takes about oh, two to three yeah. times longer. That's it's a lot of stories yeah, that's the on real the ice fun. out there. Yeah. Well,